people, 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 people. Ke pa sa sa pa say what they do. Now the first thing that is popping in the news. The other day I spoke about a lady who basically almost lost her life because of her man. That man is presently in the big yard because him juk juk her up, almost bust out her belly. And people, what is even more disturbing is that at the time she was pregnant. However, since this man has been locked up, she's on a campaign to free him because she said that he promised to send her to school. Now, people, when I first did that video, I spoke about it from an article in the newspaper. However, in this case, I am going to let you listen to the actual video that is from the Gleaner. And she is giving her peace. She is saying exactly how she feels. You can see the expressions on her face. You can hear her demeanor. You can actually hear from the horse's mouth, or in this case, the jackass's mouth. So people, take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my peace. It's my life, and I choose what I want in my life. Mm -hmm. And Father God knows where I want for me, I'm a partner. I'm a victim of stab wounds by my ex-boyfriend. Um, we were involved about one year and three months. Then my time I'm afraid to go up on the road. I'm so afraid. I'm so afraid. I'm attack me. You were forced to say all those things. Yes. Saying that you were a slave and you're afraid and you just want to get away. That was all. I forced me to do that. I don't want to be a time waster. It's time for now to focus on my education. And it's time for now for my partner to be out and to help me towards my education and also towards my child mm -hmm. and that's it so i don't want to waste the court time and i don't want this case to go further i don't want to waste the court time i don't want this case to go further. it's my case because I, I don't want it to how do you think he feels about this he feels happy because i don't want the case to go any further and i don't want the, i don't want to waste the court time and also i don't want to be a time waster in jamaica because there are a lot of time wasters in Jamaica right now. He inflicted some wounds on him. Everybody made mistakes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's it. Now, people, first thing first, isn't it convenient how people use the Lord's name in vain whenever they are trying to make a point? However, at the same time, they are doing everything that is the opposite polar opposite of what the Bible recommends. Next thing, this lady claims that she, he made a mistake, her boyfriend made a mistake and everybody makes mistake. That is true. A mistake is when you add one and one and you get five or something as simple as that. Whenever somebody is jealous, Whenever somebody attacks you to the point where he almost take your life, where your tripe or drop out of your belly, and him knows that you are carrying his child, that is something that is premeditated, that is something that is wicked. So therefore, I would not equate that to being some sort of mistake. We are speaking about a malicious act, the act that is carried out on a female by a male to basically take her life. However, he was not successful and a lot of persons, the last video that I did, they are saying that maybe he should have just ended her life because it seems as if she is meaningless. Now people, I don't agree fully with anybody taking anybody's life, even if them kind of not the sharpest tool in the shed. However, I can understand, I can relate. Next thing, this lady claims eh, she don't want to be a time waster. And there's a lot of time wasters in Jamaica. Because the man promised her that he is going to send her to school and let her get an education. Further her studies on people. I would like to know what she's going to study because obviously we see that this lady don't have much common sense. We see that she is not the sharpest tool in the shed. And people, I am not saying that you can't learn because people come from Jamal and work them way up. However, in the case of this lady, she went through a traumatic experience. However, 
it seems as if she has not learned her lesson. It seems as if until it gets to the furthest extent, she is not going to learn. So people, I hope that there is redemption. I hope that this man is rehabilitated. I hope that what she claims will manifest. However, if I was to bet everything that I have, I would say that it is not going to end up that way. It is going to end up the polar opposite because with people like this, psychopaths all they want is a second opportunity and once they get a second opportunity a third a hundred opportunities they are going to screw up on all times and hopefully for her case she don't end up where it seems as if she's trying to go we are speaking about dove cut or mud because based on how she is acting that is the only thing that is going to happen and whenever the courts or the system get a hold of some evil as people and they have a chance to send them away. And she is supposed to be a witness, the key witness, to make sure that this man spends his natural life in the big yard. She is the one that is saving him, just for him to come back and haunt her. And people like them say, sorry for my dog, them turn around, bite you. So therefore, that is my prediction. However, people, I can be wrong. So let me know what you think in the comment section. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now, before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. And I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. Also, please subscribe to this channel. And when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon. And also press all in the option. Now the next thing that is popping in the news is pertaining to a video that I got. And in this video, there is a Chinese construction company. Just like they have the Chinese doing all the constructions in Jamaica. Infrastructure, all of the highways, Rete, Lele, Blue, Blah, Blah. However, people, in this video, it seems to be in some African nation. And what happened is that there was some sort of meeting with the foreman on the site who happened to be African and the Chinese representative, the construction company. And there was some sort of argument and during the argument, the Chinese box out the paperwork out of the black man's hand and people, he got the shock of his life. Him get Karachi. In get kicked down, rate, lele, blue, blah, blah. However, people, you understand that this is YouTube, so therefore, they wanted PG Discovery Channel. So, people, I am going to show you the parts when them start to argue, and then I'll take it from there. I'll give my piece. Take a listen, take a look, then I'll give my piece. You can't win your love. You go back. You go back. Stop your work. What can you show? What are you making? Don't slap you. Get out. Hey, out. Get out. You go out of this place, man. Out of this place. Out of this place. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. The man is conducting a safety to box meeting. He went there and then they stopped the safety meeting. He has no right. Don't worry, come on. Don't worry, everything is on record. Don't worry, everything is on record. Everything is on record. Yes. Everything is on record. Just pick up your beats. Pick up your, your beats. Just pick up everything. Everything is on record. Which? This one, this very one. I'm going to call go now. Don't worry. Now people, based on the video evidence, it was obvious that he instigated the whole thing. He started to hype up himself and forget that he was not back home. He was in somebody else's country. And people, whenever you go to somebody's house and you disrespect them, you don't wipe your foot on the mat. You don't follow the rules and regulations. Wherever you get, you deserve. 
However, him feel like because he has the money. And he feels like because me talk about the Chinaman. He feels as if because him they in the country and they are spending the money. They could do whatever they so choose. As if they think that they are in Jamaica or one of those sell out countries. So therefore him box out the thing out of the man and and rush the man and the man stamp him one time. And then the man him run for a piece of iron, Mr. Chin, and rush the man. And the man step in on him chest, like when you step on Chichi man. Floor him. And you see same friend them, they want to make a move, but then them consider the fact that the odds are probably stacked up against them. And you don't want these Africans to reel up against you, like some sort of emancipation movement. Some sort of rebellion. So therefore they think twice. However, people, an island like Jamaica, where we have so much bad man, so much aggressive people, it is startling, it is crazy the amount of disrespect that Jamaican workers put up with because of how the system set up, because of how desperate they are for jobs and because they realize that they have zero representative, meaning the government, the relevant authority. Because Jamaica so licky licky. Because Jamaica so beggy beggy and like them say, beggars are not choosers. So therefore, had this been in Jamaica, everybody would have afraid. As aggressive as Jamaicans are, they would have been afraid. Because them know say, the odds are going to be stacked up against them. There won't be any sort of representation from the government. So people I say this to say that, more than likely, this person would have lost his job. More than likely, everybody on the side, meaning the black people, them, everybody would have been replaced, fired, because I just saw Jamaica said. So therefore, it only shows you the difference with when you have guts, balls, intestinal fortitude, and dignity, not like our own government, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.